You guys, my morning coffee is kicking in, if you know what I mean. You guys, can we appreciate this dog Easter shirt I got for Bruno? What's happening here? <laughs> this is why I can't be like an aesthetic content creator. This Easter trifle is by far the most fun thing I've ever done in my life. Yay! Yes! not gonna work is it good morning welcome back to a new vlog bruno's just sitting there you gotta go poo poo i think go poo poo go on go pee pee yeah there you go there you go sometimes he just needs a little call to action <laughs> go pee pee go pee pee yeah good boy there it is there it is my dog still pees like a girl I kind of love it though, it makes him special. Do you guys have any one-year-old male dogs that still squat instead of lift the leg? Good morning. Today is a Saturday, the day before Easter. Um, I have kind of a lot to do today. Uh, and I don't really know where to start. So I should probably like make some sort of list to make myself feel better. Here go poo poo. Go poo poo. So I'm having my family over for Easter tomorrow. And we're also like celebrating my mom's birthday because it was last weekend. So we're celebrating it like with my family. My mom and I already celebrated, but um, we're having like a little um, get together for Easter and her birthday tomorrow. So I need to go get her a birthday cake. I ordered, oh, thank God they're coming today. I ordered on Etsy these cute cake toppers with her face on it with like a party hat. Um, and they're coming today. Can you see my dog pooping in the background? Yes. Sick. It's a great intro. I also need to go, I want to get like a couple decorations for her birthday, um, just to have up tomorrow. I think I have everything for the party tomorrow. I'm going to be vlogging today and tomorrow for this vlog, all the prep, because I'm going to make like a cute Easter candy, kind of charcuterie looking board. I'm also making a dirt cake trifle with like cute little Easter vibes. I've talked about it before. So we're going to make that. It's just going to be a really fun weekend vlog. So yeah, hope you guys are having a good day when you're watching, and I hope you had a good Easter if you celebrate when you're watching. Shitting in the background. I'm sorry, I can't get over the fact that he is just pooping in the background. <laughs> oh, God. Good boy. He's a good poo poo. <laughs> so excited. Good boy. Got an eye boogie. I gotta clean that. That's a big knowledge. eye boogie. I I'll Pretty clean knowledge. it. Here you go. Good boy. <laughs> you guys, all I can say is organize your basement and just keep just keep stuff. Because I have a party bin. I just went shopping in the basement. First, I found a gift bag for the gift um, Yara got my mom for her birthday. And tissue paper. I keep all my old bags, tissue papers. And I had this cake topper. I had tons of candles, even a birthday banner. I was literally gonna buy this one. <laughs> like I saw it at Target on the app. I even found these cute little carrots I can use. Um, how cute would these be on the trifle we're gonna make tomorrow? I had um, like cutlery, these cute cupcake napkins, like just keep it all. <laughs> and then you can just reuse it and save things, get them when they're on sale and just keep it organized. This is pretty, pretty thrilling morning. Okay, you guys, fit check of the day. I'm wearing black leggings and this empathy top from the Mayfair group. And I'm gonna throw on these little new balance. Um, I don't know what kind they are, but they're cute. I wear them all the time. They're super comfy. If you have wide feet, get the men's. It's a hack. I'm pretty sure men's are the same as wide with women's. I'm pretty sure I could be wrong, <laughs> but these are so comfy and I love the color. I'll link this sweatshirt too, it's super cute. This is the XXL, I think they have a 3X too. Um, yeah, they do, I had the 3X and then it got stained and I only had a 2X, so I bought the 2X, but shower cute, it's like embroidered and then it says always, empathy always, so. All right, let's go run our errands. All right, you guys, we are heading out to our errands, stop number one. I am going to, I'm using this drunk elephant box. I'm doing a return. I gotta just go drop it off at the post office because they're open till 12. It's really early though, it's 9.30. Oh no, I hope I'm not gonna have a thing like the other day where I tried to go to Lululemon at 9.30. They didn't open until 10. I think the post office should be open now. So I'm gonna drop that off. We got an errands snack, Quest Protein Chips. Sometimes you just gotta bring a snack with you while you're running errands, you know what I mean? I feel awkward if there's a car. 
then we're gonna go to stop and shop to get my mom's birthday cake she requested a yellow cake with vanilla frosting and then we're gonna go to party city and get some balloons <laughs> Guys, my morning coffee is kicking in, if you know what I mean. Oh god, oh god, oh god, this sucks. Oh no. A few moments later. No, but the way I just sped to McDonald's. Oh my god, that was, <laughs> that was embarrassing. That was embarrassing. Before I hear anyone say, oh my god, Alex, TMI. Don't tell me you've never made it by the skin of your teeth into a random fast food bathroom because you're about to shit your pants. And normally I wouldn't go out so quickly after drinking my coffee. <laughs> oh, this is TMI, isn't it? All right, to stop and shop. <laughs> oh my God, they have so much cute Easter stuff. Maybe I'll get some Easter and birthday balloons. That is so cute. And look at all the pretty flowers. Okay, stop and shop. Whoa. These are so gorgeous, these big hydrangeas. Well, now I'm just casually walking around the store like this. Probably should have done this later. Still walking around with my balloons. <laughs> All right, let's find a cute cake. Okay, I'm a little ashamed to admit how much I just spent on balloons at Stop and Shop, but I know for a fact they would have been just as expensive at freaking Party City. Party City is so overpriced, like painfully. But I ended up buying like five balloons, but they're so cute. One's like a bunny, one is like a spring flower. I got a birthday one. I got a bunch of really cute balloons. So like no regrets, but like kind of regrets. <laughs> this is why I can't host stuff. I just like go overboard. <laughs> anyway, um, I got my mom's birthday cake. Uh, she doesn't want anything fancy. So before anyone's like, you just got her cake from Stop and Shop. That's what she likes. So I'm excited though to get the cake toppers. I can't wait to show you guys those. So um, the good thing is I killed two birds with one stone getting those balloons at Stop and Shop. Um, it was just starting to get crazy. It's 1030. It was just starting to get a little cuckoo in there since tomorrow's the holiday. Um, but they had so much good stuff for Easter. Like that's the only thing with ordering groceries online. You don't always get to see in store all the cool stuff they have, but like, I just get very overstimulated in grocery stores. Like I just like get really overwhelmed and it's like try to just stick to my list, but I don't know where stuff is. And then I just feel like, <sighs> you know what I mean? So that's why like I love ordering groceries and just doing like a pickup or whatever. But it is fun sometimes to just like go in, just try to, if you get overstimulated, just try to go in when it's like a quieter time, preferably a weekday morning, I feel like would be the most quiet, not a Saturday before Easter. All right, back home. I didn't get like too much at Stop and Shop. I got, egg whites just because we needed them. I'm probably going to do my grocery order on Monday just because like do the full shebang. I got some low fat frozen yogurt, mint chip ice cream to go with the birthday cake and the trifle cake if anyone wants any. And then I got like a bunch of little mini sodas. They were three for six, three for nine. I don't know, three for something. So I got three um, different kinds of little mini sodas for my family. So I liked this cake the most because it has all this like pretty icing. I'm gonna take off the Easter one and I like all these little sprinkles and I'm gonna put like some fun candles and the little cake toppers that I got and then the big happy birthday gold one on here too. So I'm gonna like jazz it up a little bit but this is the kind of cake that she wants. Okay, so I'm gonna make my life easier and whip up this cake because I'm gonna be using this tomorrow for part of the trifle and it needs to be pre-made. So just to make my life easier tomorrow, I'm gonna whip this up real quick. It's 11.23, um, and then I'll probably heat up some leftovers that I made last night for dinner. Hi, Broody. And then I also put some of these mini sodas in the fridge. And then you guys, when I was downstairs, I had like um, a miscellaneous storage bin that said like extra decor, and I saw this bunny and I was like, oh my God. So I found these old like dollar section bunnies that I had from Target last year and then this adorable garland with Easter eggs. So I'm gonna, actually I think I'm gonna mingle that in our little centerpiece here for Easter tomorrow. I think that would be so freaking cute. You guys, this is so ironic. Like I just had showed you guys the Quest chips in the car. I ended up being out way less than I expected so I didn't eat them but then I came home and I got a big package of Quest chips from Quest. Thank you guys so much for sending these. Oh my gosh. We've got sweet, um, spicy chili, chili lime, nacho cheese, 
original style oh sour cream and onion loaded taco barbecue cheddar and sour cream and ranch and i just took these out i did not know they had a hot and spicy flavor i actually didn't know about a few of those flavors so let's try these oh my god this is so exciting okay hot and spicy let's try it you gotta you gotta put the flavor side down like where it has more powder tell me you do that you gotta put that side down on your tongue mmm <laughs> oh yeah these are so bomb and they're not like dying spicy like the perfect amount of spicy mmm okay these are so good 10 out of 10 I've tried so many protein chips in my time protein everything from bariatric surgery I've shared it in vlogs before ordering all this stuff online quest chips are like always a hit I actually saw a girl the other day on TikTok um, mash them up and use them as like a breading, like a protein breading. So I might try that in the future. Oh my gosh, these are so, so good. All right, you guys, cake is out of the oven. I'm gonna do a deep clean of the stovetop too. I, I don't know who else cleans their whole house <laughs> before people come over. Um, and we had our house, we have our house cleaned every two weeks, but then I like clean it in between. And we had our house clean last weekend, so I need to clean, which I've been kind of doing. But the cake's done. It's cooling down. It's almost cool. Um, but I'm just going to wrap this, save it for tomorrow. And then once the stove's totally cool, I'm going to clean that. Um, but I just went ahead and sweep the floors and wipe down all the counters. I put away all the chips. And look at how pretty the Easter decorations are. So we've got these two Easter balloons, a little flower, I've got a, a birthday banner, happy birthday sign, and I love that bunny, it's so cute. So we've just got some fun decor up for tomorrow. Oh, and look how cute, I added the bunnies and the garland here, the little egg garland. So, also I got these dried flowers on Amazon because I just feel like I have a really hard time keeping fresh flowers alive. Not to say I won't buy them sometimes, but when I'm not using them, I love these real dried flowers. They look so pretty. I'll link them. Like I said, they're from Amazon. I'll link the vase too, because that's also from Amazon and I'm just still obsessed with it. And then this um, cutting board is currently available at Target. So I love that little display. So yeah, I just got everything nice and clean, set up the decor, and I think now I'm gonna go try out some new uh, at-home eyelash extensions that I bought. So let's go try them. Okay, so another TikTok influenced product so i feel better you guys always tell me because i'm like i'm a 30 year old being influenced by tiktok and you guys are like same so i love that we're in this together but there's some like really amazing stuff discovered from tiktok so you guys know i love at home lash extensions so i bought this from click wink click and they're supposed to last a week at a time you can come in babe he's installing um the new smoke detectors last few so i got the starter kit it's very beautiful packaging wink click and this is the presser that presses it all together <laughs> okay and then i got the uh clear adhesive i got the remover and like i saw when people remove these like that just like came off oh, they, i don't have spoolies I was hoping they would send it with a spoolie. But anyway, I got uh, three different kinds of lashes, so they should last me for three weeks. Thanks, babe. This one here is called Habit. So gorge. And they kind of like explain them on their site, like the different kinds and stuff and what they look like. This one's called Volume One. Nice little curl. And then this one is called Minx. A little bit longer a little more dramatic more of a cat eye so i'm trying to decide i think i want to do either habit or volume one i'm gonna probably go from like the least dramatic let's do let's do habit for the first time um i feel like i should watch the video again i mean it looked like insanely simple like it wasn't like a bunch of steps oh etsy just said my labels were delivered or the cake toppers oh exciting so I got the clear adhesive. Here's what it looks like. I'm gonna turn this off for a second and watch the tutorial again. Ooh, these are like really nice pressers for the tweezers. And you like press them at the end. From what I remember, they just put a little bit on each lash cluster and put it underneath the lash. 
and that was it. So let me confirm. Okay, I'm back. The tutorial, so simple. And I didn't need a spoolie. I don't know why I thought I needed spoolies because the remover, you can watch their videos if you want, but it's so simple. They literally take this like remover and they just like comb it through the lashes that way at the end of the week when you're wearing them, let it sit and they just like slide right off. So hopefully my eyes are okay with it. I've done like at home lash extensions before and did not have a problem. It's only when I do real lash extensions that I have an allergic reaction. I'm gonna throw on a little lip gloss. I feel dry. So yeah, this seems like super chill. Um, you can watch the tutorials if you want. Um, let's see. But essentially, you just take each little individual cluster, add a little bit of glue and let it get tacky, and then you just press it up under from beneath the lash, not touching the skin, like on the lash, the root of it. So I'll put one on with you guys. All right, here's the clear adhesive i'm just taking a little bit of the glue on the top part of the band where it's gonna meet my lash also this is my first time doing this so i am not a pro but i've done like at home lash extensions before and they're all pretty similar like this seems like a pretty chill you know method but uh it seems like a lot of these people agree that it lasts the whole week so i love that and i just want lash extensions one of you guys tagged me actually on um tiktok of this girl who had like a hack. Why is it not sticking? <laughs> Maybe I let it get tacky for too long. That's just the garage, Bruni, it's okay. Just your dad. Um, but there was like a TikTok hack <laughs> and I I'm too scared to try this, but like the lash tech would apply Flonase to the lash line first. And I'm like, I'm sure it, it might work, but uh, I'm not risking it. Cause those two reactions I had were like absolutely hellacious. I've always had a really hard time with lashes underneath the lash versus on top. Okay, there, jeez. <sighs> so stressful. A few moments later. Okay, I am back and I figured out the lashes. What I will say is I did not love applying them with the pusher here. I like using this when they're finally on and to like push it all together and adhere it to my lashes. But when it came to like actually applying it um like to the lash i preferred my regular tweezers like so so much better but um once you kind of get in the groove and you can figure out how to get them on pretty seamless so i'll keep you guys posted if they like last the whole week but i feel like the habit pair is really pretty oh also i didn't use all of them there was four i only used three so, cause I didn't like bring them in too far. I just like don't really prefer that. They're really pretty. So fingers crossed that they're good. I'll keep you guys posted. Guys, how cute are these? <laughs> uh, I found them on Etsy. There's so many like this, but for her cake topper, I'm just gonna put like a bunch of them on. Cause I was thinking about doing cupcakes, but I don't know, I just, I felt like a cake felt more right. But look at how cute. Oh, I love Etsy. Many hours later. Oh, you taking a nap on your mom. Ugh, so fresh. It's almost dinner time. Um, we're gonna just have some leftovers for dinner. And watch shrinking, obviously. I just took a shower, shaved. I feel like the night before a holiday, it's like a full-on shower. And I always find it so fresh when people are like, Alex, why do you call it a body shower? We all know it's either a body shower where you just wash your body or it's a full shower where you like wash your hair. I get so annoyed when I see those comments like, why are you calling it a body shower? It's like, it's so obvious. Um, and I threw my hair back in these um, braids because I'm keeping my hair wavy. It's just easy, wavy, comes out good. So I twist these pieces up here like kind of French braid twisty into the braid and then it creates like the prettiest waves because then it kind of like flows back up here. <laughs> so it's kind of my routine. I don't know what I'm gonna wear tomorrow since I returned the Kraft mac and cheese dress. Um, I don't know, I'm probably just gonna pull. Actually, maybe I'll wear that red and purple Target shirt. I think I got that on the same day. I haven't worn it yet. So maybe I'll do that, but I feel like I have everything like pretty well prepped for tomorrow. So, um, I did actually a lot more cleaning. I should have vlogged it, but you know when you get in the zone, you just get in the zone. So 
I think I'm gonna wrap up for today and I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow morning for Easter. Good morning, you guys. It is Easter Sunday. So I just did my skincare. So now that I have these lashes on, I'm basically just avoiding my eye area and using a washcloth with like my face and avoiding the eyes. But <clears throat> I was a little worried I'd have some sort of reaction just because I feel like I always do, but not with the at-home ones. So I was kind of like, I don't know, anything new, I just get nervous when it comes to the eyes. But so far, so good. No reaction. My eyes feel like a little bit tender just because I'm having something on them. I kind of have to get used to them, but no swelling, no redness. So sensitive eye approved. <laughs> I have very sensitive eyes, but um, yeah, I'm excited. I was kind of nervous they'd get wonky overnight or... Um, I'd have some sort of reaction, but we're good. So, um, slept really well, so that's great. And now we're gonna start prepping. It's almost eight o'clock. I stayed in bed for a while today. It's Sunday. I literally stayed in bed for an hour watching TikTok and it was great. <laughs> so I think I'm literally just gonna throw on what I had on last night, just like an oversized t-shirt and um, some sweatpants because I wore it for like two hours after I showered. So I'm gonna throw that on and we're gonna start prepping. I'm gonna make the trifle, put that in the fridge, and I'm doing it like potluck with my family today, so that's kind of awesome. <laughs> like, my grandma was like, do you want me to bring the ham? And I'm like, hell yeah, I want you to bring the ham. I've never made a ham, <laughs> so I was gonna Google it, but my grandma's bringing ham, my aunt's bringing green bean casserole, my cousin's bringing mac and cheese, my uncle's bringing mashed potato, my mom is bringing rolls, I'm doing desserts. It's pretty pretty easy I won't lie but I have games I want to set up um I also made this cute little how well do you know the birthday girl quiz I thought it'd be like a fun game and then I have three prizes so I have three different games including this so I don't know I love games love prizes but cute you guys can we appreciate this dog Easter shirt I got for Bruno chicks dig me it's so cute with a little peep it's from the peeps brand I got it on Amazon and I ordered this one for Chacha with this little bunny hood. You guys, look how freaking cute. Chicks dig me. Can I show them the back, babe? Can I show them? Look at how cute. And guess what? You want your Easter basket? You finally get your Easter basket. I've been waiting for Easter. Oh, I'm so excited. Here, let me take out. You got a couple toys in here. Oh, it's so excited. I'm just going to put it on the floor and let him kind of figure it out. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, what else is in there? What else? Oh, is it a bone? Oh, you like the bunny? You like the bunny? Oh, <laughs> how cute. You look so cute in your Easter sweater with your basket. And then it's like a rope handle on the basket. Oh, wait, does the rope come off? <gasps> Shut up. That would be so smart. It comes off. Oh my God. Oh, it's a three. Three toys instead of one. Oh, he loves a rope. He loves a rope. Oh, he loves a rope. Oh, geez, Bruni. Oh, he loves a rope. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. So excited. He played with that rope for like 10 minutes, I swear. Now he's kind of tired. Wow, so much fun. Okay, so up first, I think just because it can be out like the longest, I'm gonna set up kind of my little candy charcuterie board. <laughs> like I got all these cute little Easter candies at Target, so I'm gonna kind of put them on display. So let's do that first.
Okay, here is my little display. It's pretty chill, but I think it's super cute. So I got both of these at Target. That was in this dollar section at Target, and I'm totally going to use that for other fun snacky things in the future. This, this was in the usual Easter section at Target, but um, I got all this at Target. So we've got the cute little peep cookies. I feel like this is a great little section for like take some treats to go because they're like individually wrapped, but I just sprinkled some Cadbury eggs throughout there. Um, I had two of these left over, so I put them on the board. These cute little lint um, carrot chocolates, Reese's eggs. I put the chocolate peeps here and then some of those. So just like some fun little treats. Um, my family definitely gets a sweet tooth. Are you tired from playing? He literally just played for like so long. <laughs> you had fun? Oh, Taylor Swift and her um, boyfriend broke up, so the whole world whole world's going crazy all right let's get this trifle going i just went and smashed a whole box of oreos for the dirt i have a couple of chocolate peeps left over i might incorporate them onto it look at their eyes pink girl's kind of all right <laughs> what's happening here <laughs> um and then i have a bunch of bunny peeps I have way too many because they didn't have small packs of all the colors, but I wanted all the colors for the top of the cake. And then edible grass I'm going to break up. Um, again, this was inspired by Macy Blackwell. I love her content. Um, I have the cake over here. Cut this up into kind of small, medium, small cubes. So sad I ordered some gorgeous sandals on Amazon and they just are really uncomfortable. So I need to return those. They came in last night. But yeah, here's our cake. Oh, it's, oh, it's quite dewy. I did the toothpick test though. It, it was <laughs> fully cooked, but that's um, moist. I know we don't like the word moist. I don't mind the word moist. I feel like a lot of you guys don't like it. Okay, so in a bowl, I'm gonna add in some instant pudding mix. It's gonna be one of our layers. Oh, she's a little, a little broken. Oh my god, this was so messy! Oh, more just keeps falling out of the box. If y'all could see the mess. We're gonna add in two cups of cold milk. Ugh, oh, don't you just love instant pudding? <laughs> We're gonna whisk it together. Very liquidy, but apparently it's gonna set in five minutes. And then I'm gonna fold in a tub of Cool Whip. And that's gonna make it... I don't know, more fun. That's what she did, and I'm here for it. I'm just going to use my whisk. Why dirty another utensil, you know? I'm just kind of fold it in there. I don't know if I was supposed to use the whole tub of Cool Whip, but you know what? It looks good to me. <laughs> okay, now, the fun part, in my opinion, is like assembling the layers and then decorating the top. So I already washed my trifle bowl. I will link it. It's from Amazon. Cute little fluted bottom. Love. I cut my cake into mini squares and now we're just going to start to assemble so we're going to take some of our little cake squares i'm going to try to make this as aesthetic as possible i might kind of like position these in a special way and just mash them in there beautiful i want i want it to look so pretty from the side so i'm gonna like try to keep it even need my spatula my spatula is dirty okay cleaned my spatula. Okay, now we're gonna add in a layer of our little mousse. I already made sure I have room in my fridge for this because it's gonna be in the fridge for a few hours. Yeah, I think me arranging the cake was totally pointless because <laughs> it's not, these layers are not gonna be like beautiful because look at like th this, no. <laughs> it's gonna be delicious though, that's for sure. Okay, now we add a layer of Oreos. Oreos. This is why I can't be like an aesthetic content creator. It's just not in me. Do I have fun with it though? Heck yeah. Adding another layer of cake. I'll probably be able to take like one bite of this or I'll get dumping syndrome, but I will definitely be having one bite. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have so much cake left over. <laughs> this is a big cake. This is really moist though. This cake is like floofy. Okay, going in with another layer of whip. People are gonna have to take some of this home. I, I really do too much, especially considering I have a freaking birthday cake for my mom. My grandma's bringing Easter cookies. <laughs> We're gonna have to take some home. All right, another layer of Oreo. Pretty sure she did like three layers of everything, which 
seems like the perfect amount. I'm trying to see, see this, oh, this is not aesthetic at all. That's fine. It's fine guys, right? The Capricorn in me is like screaming. It's like, why is it not perfect? <laughs> but the top is where we really shine. So it's okay, right Bruni Bear? We're gonna have a fun day today. You're gonna play with lots of people. Oh, you're gonna see Cha Cha. Oh yes, it's gonna be so fun. Does anyone else just like talk to their dog? Yeah, I just ran to get Starbucks. He was craving a, a coffee. I already cracked an Alani though, so I don't need anything. All right, last layer. This is like so much fun. I do find these kind of things though like really therapeutic. Also, this vlog is gonna be really freaking long, so I apologize. All right, last layer of whipped topping. Wow, I had exactly the right amount. She knew what she was doing. Okay, this side looks kind of okay. <laughs> oh man, I really wanted it to be pretty. Our final layer of dirt. That goes at the top. This is to look earthy. Okay, now it's time to decorate the top. A few moments later. Okay, I have lots of updates for you guys because I kind of just started going balls to the wall and couldn't stop. Is that inappropriate to say balls to the wall? Is that is that like inappropriate? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> think about it literally, right? Okay, all ball. right, all right. Oh, a tennis ball, okay. Throw it to the wall. All right, fair, facts. Okay, so guys, this... Easter trifle is by far the most fun thing I've ever done in my life. So I use the Easter grass. It's edible Easter grass. It's green apple. I tried it. It's kind of, it reminds me like when we were a kid and there's edible paper. <laughs> it's just for decor, but I cut it to make it into like grassy shapes because it's like a long string. Then I put the peeps in with toothpicks and I'm so glad I found those little carrots in my party basket. Um, they're really old, <laughs> but they're just sugar. Cadbury eggs, peeps. Um, and they're just so cute. And like, you know, it's not the prettiest on the side, but like, that's okay. So cute. I'm going to keep this in the fridge, let it set for the next few hours. And then I set up my mom's birthday cake with all, I put them all in because like, I don't know, it's just festive. Um, and then happy birthday, a bunch of candles. I put it on this uh, little tray I have. It has a cover, but these are kind of sticking out. So I think it'll be fine, but I just love the party hats with her. And then these are the napkins, cutlery, and plates that I got from, I think, Target when I got them. So I like to just keep everything out on display just because it's like pretty. It looks festive with all the colors. So, all right, let's put this in the fridge. It's 10 o'clock and I think I'm all prepped. So now I can kind of just chill. I'm going to edit a little bit and then uh, shower and get ready. I literally can't. You are so human. Like, the way you sit, you just, you always look like a human. Like, he always just hangs off the back of the couch and watches us in the kitchen. Oh, you're just, like, so precious. It hurts my heart. You are a human. We need to get you groomed. I don't want to cut his hair shorter, but, like, he needs his face trimmed and he needs, like, a nice scrubber dub because he doesn't really let me wash his face. <laughs> Hi. And he gets, like, eye boogies. I clean them the best I can, but... The groomer does a better job. I haven't taken him in a minute. It's been two months because he was cut so dang short, but I think I'm like comfortable, Yara is too, with keeping it around this length because um, it's just more functional. I feel like he's more comfortable. I don't need it like super long, um, but I feel like it was just way too short before, but I feel like it's perfect now. It's perfect. We just can barely see your face. I try to trim around his eyes, but he does not like it. <laughs> Only way I can do it is if I put him on the table. <laughs> All right. All right. You want to watch a show? Want to snuggle? Oh, bless you. Okay. I just got ready for the day. I got this top from Target, as you guys saw a few videos back, probably many videos back. Um, it's so cute. So it's from Ava and Viv. I will link the outfit and I busted out the white jeans. These are from Eloquii. I'm probably gonna, let me show you in the mirror. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> oh my gosh, the balloon right there. I was like, is my hair, is my head like really long? It's the balloon. Uh, so yeah, here's the top. I love the puff sleeves. It has gathering. Um, the back has smocking, so it's very comfortable. And then these jeans are from Eloquii last season. They have a little split. They don't have these exact ones anymore, but they have a cute white pair of jeans with like an overlap button. So um, I linked those, but they're so cute. I just threw on some sandals because like at home I prefer to just be barefoot um, and then I put my hair in like a big poofy side part ponytail just because I already had it wavy from the braids and then this lip stain came out really dark <laughs> but 
whatever that's okay so my family is coming soon we'll see how much i vlog um it really depends on the day sometimes i feel like vlogging with my family and sometimes i don't have you been playing with your toys <laughs> and then yar is up in the shower he just blew all these up for me um this is one of the games you put these <laughs> easter bunny ears on your head and throw rings so that'll be fun and then the other game i have is this little bunny gnome i put on the wall and you have to throw and we'll see who gets the highest points. So yeah, it'll be fun.